I haven't flown this thing yet. I've never done this map before, so. Banshee. Oh, shit. Sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hit you. Oh, they're going for the flag. Going for the flag. Oh, oh I splattered him. Holy shit. Oh, I love it. It's Nate. What? Ask me what I think one of the most underrated games of all time is. Nick, what do you think one of the most underrated games of all time is? Well, Nate, I think it's a game called Plague Tale Innocence. Hmm. And I played it recently, and I was just like, holy crap. Why didn't people not talk about this game? I don't know. Why? Because it's beautiful. It's got a really good story. It's got an insanely good gameplay, like... That seems inspired almost by like the original Last of Us, mm -hmm. like and I started it and just from beginning to end, like it was like a hundred percent riveting. Like I went straight through, and it wasn't super long, but it was long enough to not be disappointing, you know. I I remember you playing it, and I remember you showing me a few things about it, and to it, it does stealth correctly as well, mm. like which is a thing that. You know, is make or break if you're gonna put stealth in your game. Like, if you're gonna put stealth in there, it has to be done right, and they did it right. Well, I saw the stuff that you were you were playing, and when I saw what you you know what you were fighting against, I could only say this: Oh, rats! Oh shit! A rat? Yeah, kind of. Except for oh shit, lots of rats. <laughs> It's kind just, of a just have that meme a thousand times. It's kind over. of a it's like, theme. Oh shit! It's a rat. There's a bit of a theme with rats. And, yes. Well, it's um, the plague. It the plague was spread by. Like, I would rats. almost say there are probably more rats in that game than there are in Vermintide too, and that's saying something. That is saying a lot. Uh, but yeah, like I'm really stoked because I found out there was a sequel coming out, and I was just like, yes! Nobody talks about the first one. So, I'm actually surprised they're getting a sequel because nobody talks about the first one. But it, it is obviously very deserving of a sequel. Oh, yeah. Also, much like Hellblade, which I was talking about, like, for not being a triple A game, damn, it looks nice. Well, I'm thinking it's getting to the point where triple A is going to only be a reference to development studios that have massive budgets and massive amounts of people behind them. Mm -hmm. But I think the triple A look is more possible now than ever because of the ease of access to high quality game engines. Yeah. The Unreal Engine is free. That's, yeah, that's and the, the newest Unreal like innovations they've added to the engine are gonna yeah. allow for some insane Oh dude, Unreal Five things, is so. a game changer. Yeah. I tell I remember Brian telling me about it because he's been developing stuff on Unreal all the way back when it was the Unreal Two engine. He showed me a bunch of stuff he developed on Unreal Three and then when Unreal Four came out the only thing he was pissed about is because he couldn't import stuff that he developed from Unreal 3 into Unreal 4, but because it's a different architecture, it's not really possible. But yeah, also, uh, he's saying arc, but he's saying the architecture in 5 and how easy it is to develop stuff now, mm -hmm. he would not be surprised if, you know, high-level games that are just really beautiful and really well done don't just pop out from random people every, like, every year like a random person who's just really good at game development and then i want to point this out real quick i'm trying not to run us too long but optimization is a thing that game developers have to do and if you're a pc gamer you realize more what optimization means because yes it, optimization is when a game can look nice but still run on a system that's not fucking you know a, a rolls royce of pc builds yeah um and they have to do the same thing for console games as well and Unreal 5, some of the tech that I saw that they showed off when it first came out is basically some stuff that allows them to do a lot of things that previously would have required a great deal of optimization to even be possible, mm -hmm. but with, like, very low load on, like, the engine and the system that you're running it on. I mean, So that's going to, I think, let a lot of smaller developing crews do some impressive-looking stuff without and I'm as hoping. much difficulty and... <laughs> finagling basically and i'm hoping it all works out but we have a plague tale requiem uh, gameplay reveal trailer to get to let's go ahead and see what is uh see what it has to offer here we go 
under the wide and starry sky. Dig the grave and let me lie. Amicia, come! Hugo, I'm right behind you! Glad did I live and gladly die. And I laid me down with a will. Impossible. This will be the verse you grave for me. Rats are still here. Come on, you've seen worse than this. Here he lies, where he longed to be. Home is the sailor. Home from sea. And the hunter, home from the hill. Oh. Oh. Nice. Oh, shit. Think of your brother. We have to carry on. Oh no. Oh. What have you done? Damn. She looks much more deadly this time. Well, she's growing up. That's yeah, the thing. Yeah, like she's after everything a, that happened in the first game, it's understandable. It's the logical progression of her character because mm -hmm. she was just a normal girl, like that basically was forced to survive due to events that were out of her control. Mm -hmm. And after going through everything she did and picking up the skills that she had to just to make it out alive with her brother uh, along with her, you know, like it makes sense that she would be able to be a more deadly character at this point and yeah her, the, them giving her the crossbow and like the stealth stab and stuff like mm -hmm. the first game you're using a sling the whole time oh yeah yeah like she's I remember, just, I remember yeah you she's flinging rocks at people basically and it, it works it's effective but it's also like not meant to be a game where combat is your number one priority stealth mm -hmm. is your number one priority well, and it, it'll probably still be that way, but it looks like there's some more options for how to actually take dudes out and shit compared to the first game. And yeah, that's I, that's pretty exciting. Oh, I but, I mean, it I may play wait. differently. It may be like more actiony about a little bit, but like I said, I think it is the logical progression of her character at this point to make it like that. So that's pretty cool. Well, all in all, man, I'm. I need to play the first game all the way through. I've seen a lot that you, the, what you've shown me, I and I was recommend. extremely impressed. Yeah. And for her, for her character progression, and I think if they're able to make the gameplay work, I think this can truly be something amazing. And I think what would benefit this is if they include the first game with the purchase of this one uh, as like a as like a bonus. Yeah. Because where not a lot of people played the first game, I think it would be beneficial. One thing that helped a lot is PlayStation gave out uh, Innocence for free during a PlayStation Plus month. I remember that, and yeah. And that gained it a little bit more, um, like, acclaim, like, among people. Because I remember, <laughs> like, even my drummer posted about it and was like, yeah, this game is pretty awesome. Um, Oh, but yeah, man. like uh, glad that they did that because that at least got a few more people aware of it ahead of this releasing. Yeah. So I'm hoping this one kind of blows up because I feel like they deserve to have their game blow up for sure. Well, not in a bad way. In a good I'm way. hoping so yeah. too. I'm hoping in a so popularity too. way. Well, anyway, we're moving on, everyone. Thank you all very much for tuning in. And until next time, I'm Nate. I'm Nick. We'll see you, everybody. Peace out. <laughs>